because I'm full. I feel like I can, I can run through troops and I can leap all the walls. I believe I'm in the right church at the right time. Let me break it down for you a little bit. Um, um, what God was showing me, he said, he said, I'll make a way in the wilderness. Now let's understand what a wilderness is. A wilderness is a place without roads. So there's, there's no roads. There's no pavement. There are no buildings, no occupation. It's an uncultivated area where human beings are not there. So if you ever in a wilderness place, hallelujah, you're in a place like a no man's land. Hallelujah. There's bush and trees and grass and wild beasts and animals around you. Hallelujah. And most times when you're in a wilderness type of setting, there's fear because you don't know where you're going. There are no signs. You know how when you're driving on the road, you got a sign. That, that, that makes you, gives you a little confidence. So at least when I get up a little further, I can pull off if I don't know. I can get to a gas station. I can stop at a convenience store to get some directions. But when you're in the wilderness, Wilderness, there are no directions. Come on, somebody. How many have ever been with you dealing with God? He's sovereign. He can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He can do it. He can do it. He can do what seems to be impossible. Hallelujah. I know you're standing there and you say, God, how long will I be here? God, are you going to deliver me? I'm here to report today that there's some good news. There's a new thing coming. Uh, hallelujah. I know you've been waiting on an answer from the Lord. I know how you feel because I've been there too. Hallelujah. Waiting. Sometimes God just tells you to stand still. Don't go any further because obviously you're going around in circles. You don't pass this tree before. Hallelujah. You know that's how people do when they're in the wilderness. They'll tie something to a branch or a tree so they make sure they're not going around in circles. God says some of you are going around in He said window. There's a window going to be open in your life and he's going to pull. in this one. Uh-uh, put your umbrella down. I know we don't want to mess the do up, but God say this kind of rain, you want to get drenched. I want to get soaked in this kind of rain. It's my latter rain. My blessings are pouring down on me. They're about to overtake me. I won't even have room enough to receive it. I don't put out buckets. I don't put out Yeah. Beautiful sky, clouds puffy, 
those big white cotton ball clouds. We feel like when we were children, we would lay back and we could just imagine we could touch them. Have you ever been there? Have you ever laid in the grass? Looked up at the sky, the clouds, you begin, your imagination begin to run with you and you begin to form shapes with the clouds. Have you ever done that? Oh, kids ain't got time for that now. They too busy playing them electronic games. But those of you from the old school, we know we used to be outside playing. And we would look up sometime, lay in the grass. Hallelujah. And we begin to make shapes out of the clouds. Hallelujah. That's the kind of days we like, don't we? Well, God said those are the times when you need me. Beside the still waters, he said in the Psalms in 23, he restores my soul. Hallelujah, those are those times when your soul is being restored. When it seems like the sunshine couldn't get any brighter. Hallelujah, I gotta put my shades on because it's such a beautiful day. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. That's when you're beside the still waters. You're resting in the green grass. Ah, uh, you're just laying back, enjoying the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you begin to panic. I don't have no true people in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You begin to panic. You begin to shake him and wake him. Green. 